Hello and a warm welcome to our viewers joining us in the United States and all around the world. I'm Bianca Noble. I'm Max Foster joining you live from London, just ahead on CNN Newsroom. There was no release of any chemical or any hazardous material. Clean air, clean soil and clean water for our residents. We had a Republican Party that was ruled by freaks, neocons, globalists, open border zealots and fools. More voices right now in opposition or providing an alternative to Donald Trump is the best thing. An unprecedentedly brutal winter has claimed countless Afghan lives this year, but so too has extreme poverty. There is 28 million Afghans in desperate need at the moment. 28 million. This is CNN Newsroom with Max Foster and Bianca Nobilo. It is Monday, March the 6th, 9 a.m. here in London, 4 a.m. in Springfield, Ohio, where the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board is sending investigators back to the state, this time to visit a second train derailment site more than a month after the toxic crash in East Palestine. Once again, it's a Norfolk, Norfolk Southern train. The moment of the derailment on Saturday was caught on camera. An Ohio environmental official said there were no chemicals released because of the accident, but Norfolk Southern says that the train was carrying potentially hazardous chemicals. 